Have you ever wondered if your words could magically transform into lifelike tunes and captivating sounds? Picture a world where typing a sentence could conjure up music that matches your description, from joyful melodies with piano and guitar to the echoes of barking dogs and passing cars. Enter AudioCraft, Meta's latest innovation, where the lines between text and music blur and the art of creation takes on a whole new dimension. Let's embark on a journey to unravel the mysteries of AudioCraft, where your imagination takes center stage and AI brings it to life. So. Meta has recently introduced a novel tool known as AudioCraft. which empowers users to craft authentic audio and music through text-driven inputs. The sheer potency of this tool is awe-inspiring and slightly unsettling. AudioCraft is essentially a framework amalgamating three distinct AI models, music generation, audio generation, and codec application. The music generation model fabricates music based on text inputs, whereas the audio generation counterpart produces distinct sounds, like barks of dogs, car honks, or footsteps from textual prompts. In contrast, the codec model operates as a neural audio compression technique that preserves audio quality during compression, making it particularly suitable for rapid sharing. Notably, these models are trained on unprocessed audio signals, eschewing the use of MIDI or piano rolls. This choice ensures the creation of high-caliber audio that emanates a lifelike and natural aura. This advancement is pivotal for the AI music generation domain, which has historically lagged behind image, video, and text realms. The existing AI tools for music generation were either restricted in functionality or demanded substantial technical proficiency. AudioCraft strives to bridge this chasm, rendering generative audio AI more accessible and user-friendly. Delving into its mechanics, let's start with the music generation model. This particular model underwent training using a repository of 20,000 hours of licensed music, either owned by Meta or exclusively licensed for AudioCraft. This massive dataset enables the generation of music spanning various genres, styles, moods, and instruments. Input text descriptions like joyful pop composition with piano and guitar or melancholic classical arrangement featuring violin and cello yield music that aligns with the specifications. Leveraging discrete audio tokens, which encompass a predefined vocabulary of music samples derived from raw audio signals via the Inkadic process. The model employs an autoregressive language framework to formulate sequences of tokens that coalesce into musical patterns. Subsequently, Ankadec decodes these tokens into the audio domain, producing the final waveform. The music generation model can also consider melodic attributes like pitch, rhythm, and harmony during composition. This implies that you can feed in a melody or a sequence of chords, and music gen will craft music that aligns with them. You possess the ability to manage the tempo, key, and duration of the generated music. Now turning to AudioGen, this model generates distinct sounds from text-based cues. It underwent training on publicly available sound effects encompassing animal calls, human voices, environmental noises, and more. Consequently, when you type in dog barking in the park or car honking in traffic, AudioGen will deliver sounds that match your description. AudioGen's process of sound creation mirrors that of music gen utilizing discrete audio tokens and auto-regressive language models. While music gen concentrates on musical elements, this model caters to everyday sounds like wind, rain, and whistles. Another fascinating facet of AudioGen is its capacity to render sounds based on their origin and your location. When you inform it about the sound's source and your listening context, it reproduces the sound as if you were truly present. On a different note, 
Codec serves as a neural audio codec engineered to compress audio files without compromising quality. Initially introduced by Meta in October 2022 to enhance voice communication during poor network conditions, it has now evolved and become an integral part of AudioCraft's architecture for audio generation. Codex operation involves mapping raw audio signals into one or multiple parallel streams of distinct tokens through a neural network encoder. These tokens are subsequently compressed using established compression algorithms like Huffman coding or arithmetic coding. Upon compression, the tokens are decoded back to their original audio format using a neural network decoder. Notably, Uncadec excels across various audio files, ensuring swift compression and high-quality playback. In cases where the compression process induces noise or distortion, a specialized technique known as the diffusion-based approach is employed by AudioCraft. This technique mitigates imperfections and enhances clarity in the sound. Now let's delve into the distinctions between AudioCraft and other AI music composition tools. A significant contender is Music LM, developed by Alphabet Inc.'s research lab, Magenta. Similar to AudioCraft, Music LM creates music using text as a foundation. Both platforms utilize the aforementioned techniques, discrete audio tokens, and auto-regressive language models to transform textual input into musical expressions. However, AudioCraft boasts unique characteristics that set it apart. Unlike Music LM, AudioCraft draws from a more extensive data set, having been trained on a staggering 20,000 hours of music from entities like Meta and others. In contrast, Music LM learned from a modest collection of 1,000 hours of music from YouTube. This variance enables AudioCraft to craft music with a broader spectrum and heightened quality. AudioCraft offers diverse avenues to shape the music. While Music LM solely relies on textual cues, AudioCraft can also incorporate melodies and spatial attributes, fostering the creation of personalized and captivating compositions. AudioCraft exhibits an advanced approach to sound manipulation. In contrast to the basic technique used by Music LM to modify audio segments, AudioCraft employs a more intricate method involving diffusion. Consequently, AudioCraft adeptly manages sound files, resulting in enhanced clarity and diminished distortions. In conclusion, AudioCraft's advantages over Music LM and analogous AI music tools are manifold. For those intrigued, experimenting with AudioCraft is encouraged. A particularly remarkable aspect of AudioCraft is its open source nature, permitting access to the code, models, and data. Meta's release of AudioCraft as open source aligns with their commitment to responsible innovation, collaboration, and fostering creativity within the AI community. By sharing AudioCraft as open source, Meta aims to facilitate experimentation and expansion in the realm of generative AI for audio. It's important to uphold the rights and interests of the original creators of the music and sounds utilized or generated by AudioCraft. To utilize AudioCraft for your projects, installation is required, guided by the instructions on their website. You're granted the flexibility to customize AudioCraft's parameters, including sampling rate, token count, temperature, and top K sampling for generative models. Various text or melodic encoders can also be chosen to influence audio generation based on specific characteristics. Furthermore, AudioCraft allows the fusion of different models and components, yielding unique audio outcomes. For instance, you might blend music gen for a melody and augment it with effects using audio gen. Certainly not everyone welcomes audio craft and similar AI-driven music generation tools. Some artists have raised objections concerning potential copyright violations and the potential dilution of their artistic identity. For instance, a number of musicians have filed lawsuits against Meta, alleging the unauthorized usage of their songs to train music gen, without due permission or compensation. 
Furthermore, certain artists have cast doubt upon the authenticity and originality of AI-generated music. Their contention revolves around the notion that AI cannot capture the essential human elements, emotions, intentions, and expressions intrinsic to music creation. A prevalent concern also pertains to the apprehension that AI could eventually supplant human musicians or compromise musical excellence. These apprehensions warrant serious consideration within both the AI community and the music industry. Nevertheless, I hold the view that AI should not be perceived as a threat to the realm of music. Instead, it presents an opportunity to enhance our musical endeavors. AI has the potential to elevate our creativity and collaborative efforts, enriching the musical landscape rather than constraining it. It introduces novel avenues for music creation, liberating us from constraints rather than stifling our potential. So, what are your thoughts on AudioCraft? Are you enthusiastic about its prospects? Feel free to share your perspective in the comment section below. And if you found this content interesting, remember to show your support by liking this video and subscribing to my channel for more engaging discussions like this. Thank you for tuning in, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.